Hi, I'm Natalia and I got married on August 2018. Hi, I'm Siggy and I got married May 26, 2019. I'm Ash, I got married in June in Vegas. I'm Candice and I got married August 2017. We're gonna be playing Never Have I Ever. Bride Edition! <laughs> Never have I ever purposefully given my bridesmaid terrible dresses. Boom. No bridesmaids. Mic drop. I actually let them choose the design. They had to come to a consensus. It was oh, it was rough. They, wow. they, they wanted fight to fight. Fight amongst yourselves. Yeah. That's I just like worse. threw the information there and it. let them pick it. I'm not a horrible person. They got to choose their own dresses. I told everyone Vegas. Elvis. Wild at heart. That movie with Nicolas Cage. Never have I ever changed something about the wedding behind my partner's back. Mm -hmm. I don't, don't believe so. I did, but I also kind of had free reign with the wedding. Mm -hmm. He didn't care much about details. I don't think he would have cared. Well, then we married some pretty great guys, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. He had opinions, but it was good. I wanted him. Oh. Never have I ever invited someone to the wedding for petty reasons. <sighs> Oh, I wish I could say I have. I had an ex at my wedding. He was with his girlfriend, so it was kosher, right? I would say, not for petty, more like, oh, I want to be closer to this person. Mm -hmm. Personally or professionally, I wanted to have more of a relationship. So I wouldn't say petty, I would say big picture. Never have I ever turned into a bridezilla. <laughs> no. No? I know. I mean, I wasn't a complete bridezilla. However, I was very adamant about a certain person not working my wedding. So when I met with the wedding planner, I said, make sure that that person isn't scheduled for my wedding. And he wasn't, so everything was great from there. I mean, I don't think that you can self-proclaim yourself a bridezilla. That is true. So I think I would say all brides might say, I have not. My bridesmaids might disagree with me, but I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to it. I think I was a chill brat. I was a bride chiller. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever spent more than I was supposed to on my wedding. Yeah. No, I have nothing to add to that. That's. Yep. Before you get there, you never know how much you're actually gonna spend because there's so many expenses exactly. you don't even account for. Sure, so I'll get a third cake for a thousand dollars. I could only twerk so much to pay for my <laughs> wedding. I wasn't trying to do any more. Like, my back was aching, but I made it through. I had the talk with, like, my dad mostly. Like, yeah, but what if I paid you back? Well, you might. It's gonna, uh, I probably, probably won't. Not. I was hoping to spend something like 75. How much did you end up spending? Probably like 500. That's a lot. Never have I ever seen my partner before the ceremony. He didn't see me. I was getting dressed in a hotel and he was taking pictures downstairs. Oh. And there was a window and I couldn't like not peek. Okay. And he looked so cute. Fun. When we got to our venue, I went up and started walking into the ceremony hall and I saw him from a distance and I freaked out and I was like, Everybody cover me now! <laughs> I definitely saw him, but I, he, he did not he see, see me. Okay. I don't think, if he did, he has kept that secret and should probably never tell me. Right, chill up, right, chill yeah. up. Hell yeah. Okay, yes. so my husband and I rode to the wedding together in my dad's yeah. truck. You guys the shared night a hotel before. room? Oh yeah, the night before the sacrilege. Oh, mm -hmm. oh boy. Mm -hmm. mm, the night mm -hmm. before the wedding. And I okay. still wore white. I think some of the wedding traditions are just BS, old things yeah. that people keep up. And I'm like, for what? I think everyone should just do whatever the heck they want to do. Never have I ever forgotten my vows. I had memorized my vows, but when you get there, all the emotions, everything is happening and it's just, it's just a lot. So I did bring a cheat. Like, I, I had it. I still messed up. I don't know how. Yeah, because it's impressive. talking is hard. We didn't really write vows. Partially because my husband's English is not the best and he didn't want to be embarrassed on his wedding day. We know the love's there. We know how we're gonna care for each other for the rest of our lives. What's the purpose of explaining this to everyone else? And like, we're already doing this big ass wedding. They can just watch that. The rabbi forgot to let me speak. So I grabbed oh, the wow. mic and was like, women can speak in 2019 <laughs> and made some joke and said my vows, but they were written down. I did not go off book on that. We did our vows by the pool after. Margaritas, so 
So the truth was there then. The truth was there, yeah. Never have I ever lost my ring. Oh my God, look how pretty your hands are and look at mine. It's all right. Uh -huh. Different people, different brides. <laughs> my husband thought he lost his for a while and then I found it in his drawer where he normally puts it, but he just yes. has a habit of not of looking hard it. enough sometimes for certain things. No. Whew. And actually I have nightmares about it all the time. And that's terrifying. I know. <laughs> If you notice, I am actually only using one ring. Yes. My engagement ring, the one that I got, that he picked for me that was super cute. Uh, I didn't lose the ring itself, I lost the stone. The stone fell off? Yeah, it did. Well, I would say that's his fault. Or the jewelry store. Or well, yeah. that. Not my fault. Definitely. Not my fault. Not your fault. Never, Not your never fault. my fault. Never have I ever gotten into a fight with someone on my wedding day. Bright chilla, bright chilla. High five. Uh, I got into a fight with my husband. He lost his phone, he lost his keys, and he forgot to bring the marriage certificate. Oh and God. he had gout. I threatened to divorce him like 17 times that day before we were married. I'm like, I will go through this marriage, but afterwards I'm divorcing your ass. Love you, <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> Never have I ever tried on more than 10 wedding dresses. I mean, the wedding dress is really important. You're gonna have lots of photos and videos and proof. I live in LA, I went downtown and did a lot of shopping with my mom and my best friends and we were trying to figure out which dresses to, to wear. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I got to choose the dress that I wanted and had it custom to the, the idea that was perfect in my brain and it worked. Trying all the dresses actually helped me appreciate my dress a little bit more. A hundred percent. Oh. Oh, okay. sorry. That's awkward. I tried on a lot of wedding dresses <laughs> and I went to a lot of wedding stores and there was a lot of drama and I ended up with the original dress I tried oh on. I, I didn't even bother because as soon as yeah. I tried the second one, I was like, this is I it. Have, I still look at wedding dress pictures oh on my God. Instagram <laughs> and think like, should I have worn that one? It's like an actual <laughs> disease. Ask me, how many did I try on after I already purchased one? I, I did buy a second one. However, it was, I didn't wear it. I oh. didn't wear it. Sweet. It's still in my house. <laughs> I bought it on sale. It cannot be returned. I wore it for a photo shoot. Oh. And I learned a big lesson from that experience. Basically, don't buy a second wedding dress. I might yeah. go to a store after this. We're Should fine. We try them all. Yeah, let's try some forever. <laughs> Never have I ever thought about eloping. No. I love, oh. I knew the wedding I wanted, and I got the wedding I wanted, mostly. I loved my big wedding. Actually, my husband wanted a small wedding in Switzerland where my grandparents lived, like a very intimate, and I was like, everyone must be at our wedding <laughs> in Los Angeles, California. Well, in my case, I was kind of like deciding with my family what we were gonna do, and it just seemed like a, a lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah. Multiple times I, I looked to Corey, my, my fiance at the time, and I was like, should we even do this? Let's go to Vegas, it's right there. But no, I, I, I'm glad I did have a ceremony and I'm glad I could share it with my family yeah. and friends. Who am I kidding? I love. <laughs> ever have I ever gotten cold feet? Honestly, I didn't really have time to get cold feet. I got married in like three weeks. Does post cold feet count? Kidding. <laughs> kidding. Just kidding. No, never. Love you, babe. I love my husband. I mean, we, never we're very good friends about too. It. Yeah. Best friends. Yeah. Best friends. It goes by so fast. I know. So and fast. I think about it all the time and my husband's like, but now we're married. Yeah. And I'm like, but the wedding. <laughs> when you know, you know. If I decided I'm marrying you, you're gonna marry me and that's that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wife. You're stuck with me. Right? What wifey says goes. Happy wife, happy <laughs> life. <laughs> I do have advice. I think people always tell you, be present, be in the moment, and it's impossible yeah. to just feel that way because you planned every minute of the day, so you will notice when Everything. things go wrong. You will notice the point is not to be present and not notice, it's be okay with noticing. Just ride sure. the wave of whatever you're feeling, because if you're feeling, if you're noticing something, just be like, I just noticed that, of course I did, I planned yes. that. Next, and just go, go along with, with what's yes. happening. It's okay to feel whatever it is you're feeling. Basically, I would say the best advice we can give is be a bright chiller. That's right. Be a bright chiller. Be like us.